still speechless. Uh, it's still sinking in. Um, you know, I'm just one step more closer to, to my dream. And to, to have this opportunity, it's, it's amazing. And, and I'm just so thankful, so grateful. And my heart is still racing. And, uh, my fingers are still shaking, just, you know, taking it all in. So. Now, I know that if you had it your way, things would have gone differently and you wouldn't have had to wait all this time and you would have been picked in the draft. But do you see a silver lining to where that this made you a better basketball player? This prepared you maybe even as a better adult to have to go through this journey and go to Sweden. For sure. Uh, it, there are things that are going to happen in your life that you're not, you, you didn't think was going to happen. You know, a lot of obstacles, uh, adversity, but uh, those adver adversities, you just come out even better and stronger. You know, things may not work out the way you plan to, but, you know, you just got to keep grinding and just keep, keep your faith strong and uh, just grind it out. Always go back to your roots. And, you know, there's a lot of people back home that are always rooting for me, always wanted to see me succeed. And when I think about that, you know, it fuels a fire in me. Uh, it wants me to work even harder. It wants me to be the best that I can be each and every day, no matter, you know, what the outcome is going to be at the end of the day. And I just trust in the process and just being reminded of the people back home that are, that are always rooting for me. And coming from Hawaii, coming from, uh, you know, an island in the middle of nowhere, it's, um, it, it is crazy. And uh, I was told that, you know, not one Filipino is in the WNBA. So I have like even the Filipino community uh, supporting me. And that's just, you know, just feel.